Hi everyone, it's Get Real in the Kitchen with Deanna Olson and today I'm making an uh, Soka French chickpea flatbread because you know how it is you get a little craving for bread, right? And we are all eating a little bit less bread and by using chickpea flour we have a, a bread that has is low in carbs and it's plant-based and it has protein and it's unleavened. So all I did was put the chickpea flour in here. The recipe is right below in the description, carefully written with the water and some salt and pepper and olive oil. And I mix it together and let it set for about 20 minutes. And the first thing you want to do when you're dealing with something like a uh, cast iron pan in the oven is get the right protective glove because you don't want some little basic not it's not going to even protect you glove this one's nice and thick this is even better and what I did is and I'll just show you what I did this is just another little pan is I put a tiny bit of butter less than a tablespoon in the pan and let it melt so this is what I have for you. It is the melted butter. And I am going to pour the chickpea batter into the pan. And throw it in the oven. And it only needs to be in there it's, uh, for about 10 minutes. And there, see, I almost touched the pan. There it is, the batter's ready to go in. And in 10 minutes, it'll be kind of firmed up. And what I'm gonna do is, and I've already got the broiler set, is I'm going to take the pan out and put it under the broiler for two or three minutes just to kind of crisp it up, get a little brown. So this is what it looks like, a finished uh, soca. And, um, I have a couple comments. It is so delicious. It is exotic. It's fresh. It came out of your oven. Now let me tell you some things you can do with this. So for, for dinner, like almost anything, like when you have some protein and a vegetable or protein and a salad, you want a little kind of bread item. This is perfect on the side. Look how quick this is to make. Another thing is you can put any kind of spread, dip, um, caramelized onions on it, anything at all that you like like that. And then let me just say about getting real. The comment was that this should be eaten hot. Oh really? Let's think. If you're eating crackers out of the box cold, I think you can eat this when it's cooled down and how convenient this is to put into a little baggie and take with you when you're out on the go, as out on the go, running around town, doing your errands as a snack. Much easier, because remember, chickpeas are hummus, made into hummus, and sometimes, you know, you could just get a little tired of just hummus, it's a little bit of a spread, it doesn't feel that real. I adore hummus, don't get me wrong, but this, goes a long way to be feel like a real a real food. So snack, appetizer, you name it. Soka is the way to go. And uh, don't forget, please subscribe. I would so appreciate it. And it's always live from Denver. One take. See you next time.